So these guys are really cool because they put fire in their blood. And turn it into thorns. And they have thorns around their heads as well. It's a really interesting mix of nature, blood, and fire. I'm stuck. Honestly, I've just become a, a magical R1 machine, so good enough for me at this point. We talked about that last time I saw that move, but it's still really cool to see. Considering how small-like this dingus looks. Okay, y'all losers need to chill. You do a magic playthrough? Honestly, it's wait, staff of the guilty. Did I get a unique drop from them? Sick! I want to read lore. Fire monk gauntlets. I don't know if that's new. We're gonna check though. Fire monk! Oh, thank you, God. Black iron gauntlets featuring a flame motif, attire of the fire monks. The fire monks are guardians of the flame of ruin forbidden by the Erd tree and said to be kept high in the mountaintops of the giants. Okay, I mean, that's where we're headed, so makes sense. And then... Staff of the Guilty. A heretical staff fashioned from a smoldering, withered sapling that turns the blood of sacrifices pierced by it into glintstone, similar to hex magic. Sorceries are scaled with faith rather than intelligence when wielding this staff, which enhances thorn sorceries in particular. Interesting. What is that on it? Is that flesh? I can't tell what that is on the staff itself. It looks like- it literally looks like some- some, some skin or something. Can I like just hold it up for a second? It kind of looks like a cracked glintstone, but I can't quite parse. Oh, it looks like a bloom! Kind of- I really can't tell what that is. Well, kind of cool. Causes slight blood loss buildup. Oh, cool. So these are the fire monks, and then there's the little dinguses with the staves. That is so cool, dude. And they're called thorn sorceries. I like that. I hear a beetle, though. Aha! <gasps> That's the small move! Prelate's charge! Or prelate? Prelate? Yeah! It's, uh, it's, it's Smo's Charge. I don't know, wonder why they call him the Dung Eater? I don't think this one's particularly subtle, honestly. Got the move. I got the move! We were just talking about it. So this must be the Fire Monks. So we see the Fire Monks attacking here, and they have, like, bases here. And we see them all over the place, but this seems to be, like, their, their origin, where they came from. It makes sense they'd be close to it. Aha! Secret path. I love curved swords. Love curved swords. Um, the movesets are so good. Oh! NPC! Flame Guardian, huh? <gasps> oh, that's cool! What mask is that? I know what that is. Hmm. 
literally guardians. Guardians of minor earth trees. So they were dressed like a guardian of the earth tree, but they were guardianing guardianing the flame guarding. I like it. Heard a pygmy yet? <laughs> yeah, different game. I've already fought Manus, actually. Hello? What is this? Where'd you come from? Oh my god, I can't ride Torn here, duh. Ah, uh, there's gotta be a way to get up here. Ladder? Maybe? I don't see a ladder. But it doesn't mean there isn't- Oh, there's a bunch of Flame Guardians. And they're all like NPCs. That's so interesting. That's really cool. Okay, hang on. Okay, I must be missing it. It's like... What? Oh! There it is. <laughs> Found it! Got Gwyn yet? Uh huh. <laughs> Is that one of the. Were you already dead? I don't remember killing it. Yeah, there's a bunch of dead ones here. That's interesting. Oh, they died worshiping. That's super cool. Imagine dying of cold while you're worshiping a hot thing, like a fire. Quit spamming. I'm allowed to spam. I'm the streamer. I do what I want. Oh, damn! That's really weird that they have the exact same outfit. Maybe the... I always thought the, the guardians were like malformed. What if they're just people? Like the flower people and the tree people? What if they're just people? No. Dude, I don't know why this castle is just killing me. I have no idea where to go. Like, you, you just go here and then you must go somewhere. Like, I can see there's a thing there. Dude, why is this, this little castle so confounding? Ah! Aha! And they're all bowing toward the flame. That's so creepy. Like they mutated? Maybe they mutated. Or maybe they're just people who wear trees. If I had the option to wear a tree, I think I'd wear a tree. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. Oh my god! Chief Guardian Arganathi. Ow! What the f What is that ugly shield? Is that- I know what that is. That's a uh, fire whatever it's called. You know what I'm- you know what I'm talking about. Dude, you suck. Arganathi. What the f- Did you just- I'm out of juice. Dude, I really dislike this thing. <laughs> what is that outfit? What is that shield? One-eyed shield. It's like a cyclops. That's so weird. What the heck? Trixum shield made from white stone depicting a malformed one-eyed god. The barrel of a firearm pokes through the open mouth. Oh my god, it's a gun. <laughs> Once worshipped by the giants, this evil deity is believed to have been slain by Queen Marika. Cool. So they worshipped... 
Okay, okay. To go grab that? Oh, did you not? This castle is a little hard to navigate. Like, harder than the others. Okay, we can go down there. I wonder what this is. I think I have to write down a uh, halic tree. Halic tree. Because uh, I now have the way to do that. We have done so much today, it's actually crazy. It's crazy how much you progress when you actually just play the game instead of doing PvP. Giants pray. They're praying toward the giant. But if you see exactly what their angle, no, they're angled toward the bowl. They're angled toward the bowl. Where I thought they'd have the fire. It's, it's, dude, it's literally the kiln of the first flame right now. Like, that's the kiln, and it's gonna be a tiny little spark. Kind of miss the PvP too. Yeah, I like PvP too! But now that I've progressed, I'll be able to set up my character even better. I love how this giant's just chilling. He's kind of like, Ugh. you know, just. Uh, after a long day and I sit in the hot tub, you know? That's kind of the way he's sitting. I don't know why I get that I get that energy. There's also giants. They must be giants in Caleb then. Those big skulls? Must be them. Ah, okay. Looks like we're done. Uh, that was... Oh, giant's prayer book. Prayer book that contains the secrets of the fire giants. Kept hidden by the prelates who monitor the giant's flame. Flame fall upon them, giant's flame take thee. I love how incantations are like incantations. It looks like it's made of skin with an eye on it. A single eye. Interesting. Let's go give it to Muriel. Muriel. Or... What about Brother Corin? I don't think we made it far enough, but what was his worry again? It was something about something. I gotta be missing something, like, for way shrines here. There's way- it's way too far of a run. To get to him. I- no, I think we're gonna give it to Turtle Pope. I- I don't think I have the answer for- for, um, Gold Mask's question yet. So we'll just give it to Turtle Pope. I don't want to give it to Corrin. Giant Fireball instead of, like, Giant's Flame Take Thee, but it sounds more like they're incantations. Isn't that cool? I really like it. It really feels like they're incantations of these sort of- uh, primeval worshippers. Greetings. Oh, what have we here? Very well, that heresy is not all thing. All things can be conjoined. Uh huh. Giant's flame take thee. Hurls a massive ball of raging fire. Or wait, one of the incantations that draws directly from the power of the fire giants. There is no record of this incantation in common prayer books. Only a select few prelates know of its existence. Or else several balls of fire at once. Same thing. Okay. I have just enough for both. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. SFP to refer to. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I like them for lore, but if I was actually using them, I'd be like, uh, giant's flame take thee. When Gwyn killed the dragons, it looked a little like this. Yeah, exactly. They really get that vibe of your... Like, that's what faith was always like. You you tell part of a story and it inspires you with faith in, in Dark Souls. And here we have something really similar. This feels so final. Like, I know it isn't, but it feels so final. Also, there's like this whole concept of millennia, like being past the giants. So there's a lot more still going on. I remember Lane Dell was only like 40% away through the game, approximately. I literally asked people, I'm like, hey, do you think I'm like 40% of the way through the game? They're like, oh, broom tower reference. Oh, what's that? What is that? What are- are you giants? What is that? Oh, 
Inzagi hates these two. I know, I hate that misinformation. Giant's grave post. So I remember seeing these exact trees and thinking they look really weird and thorny. And now, oh, and you can see like the staff on them. It's like they were impaled here. That's so weird. Covered in thorns. Flame Peak. Huh. Huh. Let's read the map. We got a new map. Map of Eastern Mountaintops of the Giants. The remote, desolate eastern summit is the highest point in all the lands between overlooking even the Flame Peak to the south. So remind you of Deathblight? You know what? Really, really interesting links between this and Deathblight. I don't know that I want to make ties yet, but it sure do seem like it's possible. And what's interesting is the tree thingies aren't in the actual ground. Oh, here they are. They are. They are. Okay. Because I was like, hang on. Is it just like coming out of him? It is very Deathblighty. And Deathblight is represented by these roots with like thorns all over them. So it could represent more heresy. Wow. That's so weird. Oh my god. And look at the Ur tree! Oops, wrong button, wrong button. Thorns grow up all around like it does to you. Could be. I don't have enough of the lore puzzle pieces to really be able to securely say that, you know? Because it's like, we kind of had a little bit of, of that. Oops. Did my cap card just freeze? Wow, dude. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna keep that in mind. We have a few different things to look at. Look at this beautiful view. Look at the clouds. Look at the stormy clouds. Look at that view. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cool. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. This game is beautiful. And you go back and watch Melina breaking up with you. It devastated me. I was like, whatever. <laughs> I was like, you got, you got interesting in the past five minutes. So I don't really care. But yeah, no, thanks everybody for hanging out. We're going to call it here. Okay. Um, Elden Thrall, we don't worry about that. Look at this. I love seeing the Elden tree. The Erd tree, sorry. Divine Tower. Did we go? We did go up this Divine Tower. I remember that. We also went up this Divine Tower. Yeah. All the Divine Towers have been found so far. Now, what was I doing? I left off at the giant's grave post. I found something that I missed a lot on my other character. I remember now. Armor you're wearing? Oh, yeah! I changed it up a little bit. I changed the hood, as you can see, so we could see my cool eyes. I thought it's cute. A little bit of a mix match. Okay, where is it? it should be right here. There it is. Yep, yeah, I missed this. Um, I noticed it when I was running through this area on e-girl, uwu. Ash of War Seppuku. I knew this existed, but it's good to have it. Seppuku, a forbidden technique used by swordsmen from the land of reeds. Plunge the blade into your stomach to stain it with blood. Increases attack power and improves ability to inflict blood loss. Ooh, gaming. We do be gaming. Uh, so that's all that I found on my other character. Um, really, I was just running from point A to point B and I happened to see the beetles, so that's pretty good. I'm glad I found that. I don't think there's anything else here, but you never know, so I'm just gonna do like a full on just back and forth. I think we're at a good point. Let's just let's just continue. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to do. <laughs> Actually, I want to take just a little bit of time and try to find these paintings. Uh, so I'm missing prophecy and I'm missing homing instinct. And prophecy, I feel like we've been close to so many times. So I'd like to try, just a little bit. I know it's a little bit of a ooh, we're a little bit of a teaser now, but you know how it is. I swear it's got to be around here. Wait, is it this? Can't be this. Is it this? Could it be this? This doesn't feel right. 
that a shiny? What is that? Maybe it's down there? Oh, wait, wait, what is this? Have I been down there? Is that where I was? Is that where I was? Yeah, this is where I was, wasn't it? It looks different, though. Is this where I was? God damn, I'm confused. I'm finding this damn one, by the way. I've been looking everywhere for this. Hi. Is there a painter up here? <laughs> oh my god, he's just right in here. I hate you. I hate you so fucking much. I hate you so fucking much. Oh shit, Warhawk Ashes. I have become the bird! Spirit of a Stormvale Warhawk, the talons of which have been sliced off so that razor-fine swords could be grafted in their place. With its lord vanquished and its wings wounded, the hawk perished as it solemnly gazed at its former home. The storm is a Warhawk's cradle. So it fucking- that, don't make me feel bad! For the- for the bird that- that attacked me? And mauled my life and damaged my psyche? I'm actually so upset. I spent so long fucking looking for this. I can't believe it. I'm <laughs> such a thing is. <laughs> Alright. Homing Instinct is the only painting that I am missing. And I think it might actually be kind of close to, like, stuff. So I want to check this. I want to check this. Oh, it's got to be on a cliff. Because you see, I think it's this aqueduct. But it's on a cliff, you know? So, because it looks, like, smaller. But I think I know where there's a few cliffs. But we also see in the foreground a gravestone. I think it's a little higher up. Really want to put chat in Katy Perry withdrawal? You know, I think you guys can survive a little bit longer without Katy Perry. I don't know that I've been here. We will find out together. Wait, wasn't there... Wait, was- there was a- There it is! Hello? Oh. Oh. Thanks for the turtleneck meat. Okay, well... At least I know I haven't been here, but like, do I care? I'm just some man with his fucking... virility meat. Apparently. Okay. Alright. Raph's method for doing math is stealing notes from the nerds. It literally, yeah. Now you might be like, oh, but you know, you don't theory craft yourself, Raph? I actually really do. It just, I need a specific type of theory crafting. I don't know if I've talked about this on stream before, but when I did ESO, when I played ESO, Elder Scrolls Online and MMO, um, I loved coming up with PvP builds. Um, and what I do is I'd kind of look at my skills, because I had a pretty good understanding of my kit as a, as whatever class I was. Like Warden, for example. Warden was one of my favorites. And, um... The skills all had different abilities, and depending on what bar you put them on, they had buffs that would stack based on passives. And I loved coming up with my own builds to the point that when I did PvP and Elden Ring, uh, Elden Ring and ESO, I had people messaging me for my build after that kicked their ass. <laughs> Not all the time, but it happened enough. Um, and I still I figured out all my stat calculations and like where I put stuff on my bar and like stuff like that, and it was really fun. And I didn't really need to watch videos or figure it out or ask anybody um, because it was so fun to theorycraft. But the difference was that it involved like skills and passives versus raw math. And I just can't with the raw math, dude. And that's one thing that's kind of a bummer is the type of PvP this game is. Is it, it there's not as much of raft style theory crafting, you know what I mean? if they were fun in PvP. Oh yeah, no shame in asking someone for their build. I love talking about my builds. I'd have people message me and be like, Whoa, what the fuck are you running? Like, that's crazy. And I'd tell them. And i have people be like, fuck you. And I'd be like, who are you? It was great. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think this- This is the first painting you're supposed to find. Whips are dope. They are dope, but they aren't meta. Like, bleed is meta, so technically they are. But like, holy shit, dude. If, if whips are meta... I invite anybody to use them on me. I actually do like it when whips are used on me. Uh, in the video game. Just in case that wasn't clear. I'm not a degenerate! Listen! Uh, me thinks the lady doth protest too much a little bit, huh? Yet again. What else is new? 
Clipped? It is what it is. It's gotta be around here, right? But like, at a distance? But I don't remember any gravestones around here. Lead, attack quickly, have range, can't be parried. They uh, take too long to attack, don't do much damage, are easily countered by quite a few different other weapon categories. Multi-hits are strong as hell though, that's for sure. Also, yeah, nothing is meta to uh, against two level 600 unscaled phantoms. Absolutely true. Don't sound your own name by saying you are in a degen. I'm just trying to be wholesome for five minutes before I completely descend. You know what? No, let's play hot and cold. I know it looks like I'm annoying him, but he loves it. Really, like, you can tell. There, see, he has a happy face. Mm -hmm. You know? All right, so we're gonna just progress. Oh wait, we're playing hot and cold. All right, emote only. Let's do it. All right, everybody. So, um, we're gonna start here. Hit me with the yay, hit me with the nay. <laughs> Does anybody know? Yay and nay, okay, okay. What about here? Or I don't know if you're answering. I don't know if you're just in the- I don't know if you're just memeing. And that begins the issue of what if people are, are goofing and they don't actually know. Oh my god, I'm in hell. We got nays? We got yay, we got yay nay. And then we got a nay. I don't know what this means! What about like here? Room for error on that method is part of his charm. It is! Yeah! It definitely is. See, I thought this was a graveyard, but it's not. It's just- it's just swords. It's just swords. Bitch, I am busy. Wait, where's the tree? Where's there a tree? Oh. Bitch, oh, I just said I'm busy. Oh, shit. Hello? Someone wants to cap. Oh, my God. The Mongo Horde is attacking! I just remember the tree in the background. So if there's a tree... There's so many trees, though. But then wouldn't it need to be up here? Oh yeah, no, I'm wrong. Disregard my yays. Well, that's really good! <laughs> Actually, April's fools. Wow, I trusted you! Nah, I'm kidding, it's fine. What about, like, um... Here. I still can't remember any, uh, anything in Limgrave. Like, any. Yay? Oh. What's down here? Oh. Really? I can't think of anything that looks like that down here. I'll put a marker, because Chessie's very excited. Okay! Welcome back to talking. Oh, yeah, this fucker. This shit. Where's the tree? I completely forgot. Oh my god. Wowzers, Bowsers. We fucking did a chat all as a team together. Incantation Scarab. Old Scarab worn directly on the head. These scarabs roll clumps of incantations during their labors. Slightly reduces the FP cost of incantations, but increases damage taken. As a scarab approaches death, it abandons its rolled treasure and stretches its wings wide for the long journey to its home nest. That's some good foreshadowing, because we're going to find its home nest, and I bet you... Never mind, I'm not going to say anything, because I know, I know, I already know. More fun the first time when you weren't stopping and asking, you just had to try and loosely infer the mood of chat, more chaotic. Definitely. Yeah, that was hilarious. The, the, the slow descent of streamer into madness is actually my favorite thing. No idea the painting's out of purpose, but it's a picture. You had to find a picture, no? Thanks, everybody. Look what chat can do when we all come together. Officially, every painting that I've discovered, which is six paintings, have been found. And I only needed help with one of them? Two? One. I only needed help with one of them. Two, maybe. Yeah, that feels good. Wow, look how pretty. 
I love this view. <gasps> you can see cinders floating in the air here! Oh, that's very interesting. I like that a lot. So this is brand new, by the way. You could say we did it together! These paintings don't help much. They've been really good. Except for that. That one was hard. I don't know why I forgot that there's other, like, aqueducts. I think it's the hardest one. I think so, too. You're fluffy! Are you a, are you a yeti? I went to your convention once. There, a lot, actually. I went to your convention one, uh, a few times. I want a cosplay award at one of yours. They gave me money. I didn't even have to do anything. My friend just came over and they're like, yeah, we decided you won the con. So, like, here, you, you have, have 50 Canadian dollars. And I was like, oh, sick, dude. I'm gonna spend this on a plushie. <laughs> they didn't sell plushies at that con. Thanks so much! For the 50 Canadian dollars. Bye! You know one of these is gonna have, like, an item under them or something. You just know. No idea where it came from? How's your night? You know what? It's good. People just remember Elden Ring Geography? I mean, so far? <gasps> yeah. I'm in hell? I'm in hell. No, no. Help me. I don't like how they wiggle. Oh, scary. Controller drift is bad, and I feel bad. I might try to fix it. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah the con that I went to was kind of... It was just like a chill thing, and not many people did... Wait, what did I win for, actually? Because did I... I don't think I wore the mech. Wait, what did I wear? God knows. Who are you? <gasps> Kaylin Doggo! The Wings of Estelle? Yeah, aren't they fun? Ow. So they don't all have collars. I wasn't crazy. That's super sick, dude. So it might be... I don't know if it's directly associated with Gowry. But there's some sort of association here. Oh, the way they shake their heads when they bop the ground. That's so cute. I like that. Only person happy to see these again. I love T-Rex dogs. Raph actually wore a Raph cosplay. Yeah, they were like, wow, are you a uh, famous streamer, Rafferino? And I was like, yeah. This is not true. I did not stream at the time. Feet! This is how my feet feel in the winter. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy. Look at all the cuties are here. Not even streaming already a famous streamer? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I gotta tell you, I don't like the crows as much. They look still so- Oh my god! Yeah, I'm not a fan dagger of this, let me tell you. Oh lord. Daddy's in hell. Okay, yeah, yeah, you know what? Maybe getting up Torrent was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Torrent, please, Torrent, please. Torrent, please! Okay! Wowzers, Bowsers. Oh my god! No, no! No! <laughs> ah! 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 Okay, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. There's so many! So, now that I know they're not just warped by Kaled. Wait, what if they were warped by Kaled? What if there's some sort of... What if the... I'm... I'm... I'm acquiring lore at the moment. I've thought of something kind of interesting. You know how Marika is Radigan? And then... 
They have twins. Well, like, not they. Marika has twins. What if that's like yet another similarity? Maybe that's why they're Empyreans. And then Ronnie has like her spirit sticking out of her body, almost inferring there's like a two type situation going on. Okay, now that I know there's fucking three, daddy's ready. Come to daddy. Come on. It was literally like PvP. Now there's only one. He's a coward. Just kidding, they can still be cowardly in three people. Oh my lord. Uh, sorry, what now? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, to have some spicy theories about that. Yeah, twins and sign of divinity. Maybe not necessarily, but like, you know, I, I have this whole theory of the rebus, the alchemical rebus. Uh, with Marika and Radigan being a perfect being. And instead of using the term rebus, they just use God. Uh, and demigods are only half because they are they are not two beings in one. They are not both masculine and feminine. They are they are divided. So if, what do you do? You fuse it back together. There's a there's a lot of like halves and holes and 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 divides and and unity going along in the lore. You know what I mean? Looks and plays a lot like dancer. You know what? I actually love that. I kind of see it now. Maybe that's why I like this armor so much. It does look a lot like Dancer. Wait, oh, I see that. See that up there? You see those hands? So looking at the hand from this angle, doesn't it almost look like someone doing this? Like two hands stacked on top of one another? I never noticed that. Cause I've never seen them like so thoroughly. Like, obviously there's more fingers, but it looks a lot like that. Mayhaps. Mm. Looks more tentacly to me. The tentacles are there too. Worry not. Worry not. Hands, tentacles, whatever you need. Why not both? That's the thing. What is a finger but a really short tentacle? Well, it, it don't be having the, the wiggliness. It's important. Go on. Another sacred tear! Never looked at them that closely? There's your first mistake. Everyone loves hands. Ta-da! So my flask is at maximum. And we are now at plus 12 for flask of quim quimson tears. Quimson. Hands has something to do with Riker since his hand looks so similar. I have similar rings. I thought the exact same thing when I saw his hands. It's just we've seen them in too many distinct areas, including Karia Manor. But interestingly, we did not see them at Godric's. So there's definitely grafting going on in different locations, for sure. But the nature of it is so thoroughly linked with Godric that I am loathe to describe anything else distinctly as grafting. But it's interesting to note that they don't also I have this other theory about how like the multiple fingers is like a is like a genetic trait linking them to being demigods. Wow, this is beautiful. You know what this reminds me of? Ash of War Trolls Roar. Dude, I should take a screenshot of that pickup and then just post it in Twitter anytime someone gets mad at me. Anyway, sorry. Um, this reminds me of, uh, this is spoilers for God of War. So if you care about God of War, the first one, obviously. Sorry, not the first one, the newest one, God of War 2017, 2018. You know, that one. Uh, mute for the next 30 seconds. Okay, at the end where you go when you find the giant graveyard and it's like, and you see all the dead bodies everywhere and you see all the giants are dead. What? You know? Anyway, spoilers are good. Okay, it reminds me of that. Brilliant. I have my plan. 
What if I just freaking Shinde rude this dingus? Will I die? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, Jesus! My defense. I thought it would be cool. I just wanted to be like Altair. Damn it! <laughs> that could not have gone better. <laughs> uh, wait, Church of Repose. What is Repose? Is that like when you think a lot? Bitch, I'm busy! A state of rest, sleep, or tranquility. Right. So basically, it's a church of rest. Makes sense. It's when you oppose a second time. Yeah, when you <laughs> repose. <laughs> Great plan, Raph. Thank you so much. I tried. It was a good plan. Also, Mazello, what's up? Yeah, I got this outfit last night, and now I put this new hood on because it looks cute. So now I feel like an assassino. Okay, so we don't want to do that again. We have learned. Even though it's really tempting, we don't want to do that. Oh no. Oh no, please. You don't understand. Come on! It looks like not a big drop. <laughs> Wait, why can't I ride my pony? Am I getting invaded? Did I die too much? <gasps> Okina! Okina. Okinawa. <laughs> Where are you, bitch? Ah! He's got the rivers! Wait, is this how you get the rivers? Die. You must die for me now, bitch. Ow! 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 No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have my buckler out? Shit. Wait, 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 it's for the memes. Dude, it'd be so sick, just chill. I hate you, you fucking asshole. Damn it. Fuck you, Okina. Anyway, we'll get him this time. I just need to, I need to get, a, I, have, I have a plan. All right, wait, just shh. I did get l dude. I did get fucking l dude. Put the bucket with carry retaliation. Don't even need it. Where are you, bitch? Okay, so that was like a one-time invasion? Because he's not invading me again. There we go. We gotta go with the front door, I think. Or something? I don't know. Oh, invaders are horrible. Yeah, it's true. It's my buckler. Right, did, did you give me this? Right, no, wasn't I supposed to give you this? Oh shit, did I not give you the buckler? Hang on, wait for it. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. You're supposed to, you're supposed to do the rivers. Do the rivers. Come on. Come on, river me. Oh shit. River me up, river me up. Hang on. Hang on. You asshole! Do the third. You asshole! Oh, I was ready that time! <laughs> he actually knows! Are the most gankers? Yeah, because he's actually he has a he has a bigger brain than they do. See all my shit, it's fine. <laughs> it's not stealing. It's just the <laughs> we're like uh, forgetting. <laughs> I am getting outplayed. Ah! The fucking guard broken. Ah! Listen, this is gonna work. I'm committed now. You might be like, yeah, just fight him normally. It's not a big deal. No! I have a plan. It's a good plan. Yeah, we're gonna teach him a lesson. In fact, we're gonna teach him a disgusting lesson. You wanna know why? I don't know fucking why we're putting that care and retaliation on him. I don't know about that. I don't care about that. It's not relevant. Okay, all right. I don't need tips! You want a tip? Eat this meat! It's good for you, high in protein! Ah! Oh, fuck at the timing! It was a joke! It was a joke! It was a joke! Give me another chance! Ah! <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shh, shh, shh. We're good, we're calm. 
What? You do one, two, and then you parry. I did it before. I did it before. Out of, was it out of range? Oh shit, I gotta get closer to his meat? All right. I heard it's good if you deal more damage than the bad guy deals to you. Yeah, probably. I just wanna- listen, I don't need this, okay? I don't need this shit. This is fine, I can do this. Yeah, whatever, I don't care about any of that. Game April fooling me. <laughs> Retaliation, gold, and parry give you more parry frames? Yeah, that's why I took it off, because I don't need more parry frames. I'm too close far again! <laughs> okay, okay, so we gotta get right up in his meat. I have a plan. More than buckler? Yeah, you can put it on an older shield. A bigger shield, not an older shield. And it gives you more parry frames. Isn't that disgusting? That's why I was going to use it, but now I don't need it anymore. So I have to watch out for the blue meter. The range is disgusting! Look at that! Holy fuck, this guy's actually smarter than every Gengar I've ever met. I literally, this is unreal. Actually, like, please, if you gank, please go fight this guy. I want you to learn from him. Gonna have a bevy? What's going on? No bevy? What if I just parry a regular attack? Can I do that? I know how to parry. Works for me! Rivers of blood, baby! By the way, I'm not spinning my controller, that's the drift. <laughs> GG first try. Stop it. Okino mass. That was the river startup. So take that, bitch. Challenge accepted. That was a cool cinematic spin. It, it, it yeah, it was just my drift. Well, you know what? I may have died, but you know who won in the end, chat? Who won in the end? Me, because I respawn. Also, Kina means, uh, like, going to the movie theater in, in Polish, so when I hear Okina, I'm like, Oh, Kina! <laughs> oh, movie theater! <laughs> Just wanted to share that with you. But it's, it's Kino, ale... It's Kino, but if you go to the movie theater, Ijeme do Kina. We are going to the movie theater, it's conjugated, so it's like, Ah, we're going to the movie theater! Oh. <laughs> Rivers of blood. Weapon of Okina, swordsman from the land of reeds, a cursed weapon that has felled countless men and women. When Moog, the Lord of Blood, first felt Okina's sword and madness upon his flesh, he had a proposal to offer Okina the life of a demon whose thirst would never go unsated. Unique skill, Corpse Piler, forms a blade of cursed blood for repeated interweaving successive attacks. Follow up with an additional input for further successive attacks. So... This is a Moog-based weapon. That's really interesting. Moog, but also madness. So that sounds a lot like Yura. How Yura was... Well, he was against the Bloody Fingers, but he did seem to be affiliated with madness because he became Shabriri. Interesting. Show me the mask, too. A wooden mask that depicts an old man burying his teeth, the source of the sobriquet of the Great Swordsman of the Land of Reeds, raises dexterity as it lowers focus. The more he sharpened his mind, the more the absurdities of the world came into stark relief, and so Akina renounced it all and rose to a higher plane. There was only himself, his katana, and its mastery. Before long, Okina became a demon of a swordsman. I think that's- that's gotta be a Japanese myth thing, no? Do the Vare quest? Kinda, but not fully. However, I kinda wanna try this. I don't know what this does. Let's just do it. Go to the audience ground? What do you fuck you mean, go to the audience grounds? Maybe we're not ready. Yeah, maybe it's not yet time. Maybe actually, after all, it's not yet time. You do Selen's quest. Sort of? I do be killing her? Didn't Shibiru take over Yura's body? Exactly! So that's why I thought it was interesting. I'm not ready yet. 
not ready to go to the audience grounds. But maybe in a bit. However, let's go talk. Let's go see if Vare's there. It's been a minute since he's been there. I don't know that he will be, but it's worth a shot. Oops. Shura? Like Shura! Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Sorry. Like Shura. Yeah, like the Shura, like becoming a demon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. More he sharpened his mind, the helmet is... The more his helmet needed to reduce focus and raise dexterity. Yeah, because he sort of... Like, sharpening his mind made him go insane. You know? Actual thing from folklore, something made up. I think it is something, like, at least inspired by folklore. Um, I don't know enough about Japanese myth and stories to really say. That's the thing that I'm kind of missing from, uh... Like, any sort of readings I do of... From soft games? Okay, he's not here. I figured. Okay, let's, um... I do want to try the audience thing, but not yet. I want to I wanna explore a little bit more. You know? Just a little bit more. Sure is Chinese Ash Ashura. Yeah, I have no clue. So they scrolling through the maps of travel instead of using the menu? Yeah! Yeah! It's just more like, like, uh, splurry. Again, paying us close attention to item descriptions. Siltus, welcome in! Um, so this is still my first playthrough, but I do play it as thorough as I can. So we are paying attention to everything, it's just we're gonna miss stuff because it's still my first play. Welcome in! Hope you enjoy that style of gameplay, because I sure do. There are Chinese and Japanese versions, so quite possibly. A lot of Hindu myths of yogis and monks who do meditation too intensively and go insane because they can't handle the truth about the cosmos they discover. I feel like we're definitely delving into a lot of that with the general sense of, like, the cosmos and sanity. Uh, have I been down there? Is that, like, the land? What's this? On top's catacombs. This is here. I don't know that I've been down to this spot. Can I even get down there? Is that where I was? No. <gasps> Wait, what is that? Wait a second. Wait a second! Yeah, I forgot about that! How the heck do I get up there? Rhetorical question that I'm gonna try to figure out. Okay, we need to put a little margarino there so I don't forget about this again. Interesting. Because I remember seeing on the map that it looked like something, and I don't think I've been down there because it's not... It, or, no, I have. There I have been. There I have been. This is, uh... Have I? I don't remember there being a giant. Hang on, what is all this? I don't think I've been down there. Yeah, let, let's, let's explore. Let's, let's be a little bit more thorough. I feel like I knew a little bit more about this when I looked into Sekiro, but unfortunately, um, I did not do a Sekiro lore through. I would like to at some point. Hey, sir! Sir! Do not chomp! Okay, you know what? I do like how nicely Torrent fits into the mouths of the of the dogs. It's pretty funny. You know, some use the term Ashura, so be surprised. You know, I think I've actually heard of Ashura when I was learning uh, Hinduism in uh, school. But that was so long ago, I can barely remember, and it wasn't incredibly thorough. No chompies? Yeah, like, I, I specifically go to the Elden Ring restaurant and I order no chompies every single time. What do I get but chompies? It's ridiculous, this one. Why do I keep going to this restaurant? At this point, at some point, it's my fault. <gasps> a lore sword! A slord! A slord! I'm sticking with it. The war against the giants. Champions battle, trolls betray. Fire vanquish, the era of the Erd Tree begins. So wait, the age of fire ended? Hello? Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Macha, Macha! Yeah, I took a photo of the lore, even though I deleted all the other photos because I had to clear them on my phone. Listen. Battle, trolls, betray. So these are trolls, I think. These are trolls is what these are. So that's why they're alive, and that's why they fight with the people, is because they're traitors. Why did my health bar get so little? So, obviously we haven't been here. I'm glad I double-checked. Because there's got to be something to explore around here. Frozen giants of different species. They are described distinctly, it looks like. Chinese myth, at least, Shura, Asura is basically kind of sort of like the holotype, but you have to compare it. 
Okay. Oh, my horse is about to die. Literally taking a sip just for torrent. Oh, so you make it like- ah! oh, oh, dude. Oh my god, it's like when a fucking centipede crawls out of the drain. Oh. <laughs> well, we found our way over here. That makes a lot more sense. You just kind of walk. How do you get there? You just walk. You just get there, forehead. These are always fun. And if that sounded sarcastic, I promise it wasn't. I actually really do find the fringe folk hero graves uh, fun. Even with the hero graves, because only the first one is the French folk hero's grave. Just the hero graves in general. Giant conquering hero's grave. So this must be the heroes just depicted by this lord. Titan, similar the Greek god versus Titan vision. Really, if so, that is very interesting. There's probably enemies in here. Flame protect me. Incantation, okay. The most ancient of the fire monks incantations creates a fire within that greatly increases fire damage negation. It is said that this incantation was used during the war against the giants long ago, during which it protected the champions of the Erd Tree. So wait, the fire monks are against the giants? I have misinterpreted a great deal. I thought they were fighting- I thought they were worshipping the giants. Maybe they're just worshipping the flame. I thought the giants were too. Oh my god. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim and I just walked into a fort. have Skyrim energy, doesn't it? Flame, protect me. Nah. <laughs> Kinda. 